I come from Greece and uh, when I travel, and I do travel a lot, people wonder if we are surviving from the crisis. Well, there are some things in Greece that are not in crisis. The Greek sun is not in crisis. <laughs> the Greek sea is not in crisis. The Greek salad is not in crisis. And Gaia, Mother Earth, is not in crisis either. In the mid-90s, we were concerned with the total absence of Greek products internationally from the shelves of the supermarkets. And this is when Gaia encapsulated in a brand called Gaia the best Greek products. Our vision is to offer authentic, quality, traditional and innovative Greek products all around the world with the vision to be the absolute market leader, the best brand in the world and to recreate our culinary cultural heritage, which is meze, the way we share food, the food being a sociable occasion, enjoying food, sharing it with friends, and to transfer this Greek culture of eating and eating habits all around the world. In the meanwhile, there has, we have to deal with another chaos, and this is the huge crisis in Greece. And guess what? I think Mother Earth will prove the to be the solution again in the Greek financial chaos. This big financial problem that Greece has, unprecedented for any other European nation, in my view, is a problem of a society that lost its values. That everything became very short-term and short-term profit, the only goal of the society. So blissfulness now has to give way to the eternal values of Mother Earth, sustainability, honesty, substance, and hard work leading to fertility. Let's go back to the brand in the mid-90s. The international perception of Greek products at that time was kits presentation and inconsistency in deliveries and product quality. Some of my compatriots, by putting uh, columns or the Acropolis on the products, they thought they would sell, being the cradle of the civilization, or uh, <clears throat> uh, I heard uh, from an American partner of ours saying, you play the Olympic Games with your quality. First, delivery is gold. Second is silver. Third is bronze. The fourth doesn't make it to the finals. So this was the perception of Greek products. At the same time, in Greece, we had a, an environment that was uh, bureaucratic and uh, with unfair competition due to lack of enforcement of rules and regulations. So against this background, we decided to create an award-winning design under the brand name Gaia and to build a distribution network that will be based only upon the very best distributors, specialty food distributors in the world, companies that would demand service levels of 99% and that wouldn't tolerate the slightest inconsistency in quality and supply. This is how we started. We started from zero literally as an idea the company we did 200,000 euros in 95 we did 11.4 last year 2011 with an average growth rate of 28.75 percent we will be doing 29 millions on a consolidated basis in 2012 14 and a half from our core business and the other 15 from our new venture in Russia 83 percent of our core business is export we sell our products all around the world in the most developed countries of the world, and 17% comes from the Greek market. In the beginning of 2011, with the Greek crisis reaching a peak, we had a very big meeting in the company, the management team and uh, my board of directors. What are we going to do with the crisis? Should we do uh, as everybody was doing, reduce costs, put the heads down, and seek shelter until the storms go by? Some of my board members even suggested that we move, uh, we just keep production in Greece, we move our offices in another country outside of Greece and work out of there. Some of us said, let's look in the crisis as a big opportunity. And this is what we did, and we started 2012, which has been the most important year in our history. The crisis, the truth is that the crisis found us in a very strong situation. The company was doing well, and suddenly a lot of other Greek companies realized that they can no longer, no longer survive by just selling only in the Greek market. They had to look for the bigger international markets. Simultaneously, they realized that uh, you cannot change your strategy, you cannot become an export company in a fortnight just because you have changed your priorities. So some of the best companies with the best products that Greece has to offer decided to join forces with us with our new concept. We call it cooperation. 
It's a dual branding concept where the company that is joining forces with us are maintaining their brand identity and the link with the product. They stay proudly on the packaging. It's not just private label. Of course, with our brand as well. And together with that, we will be entering a lot of exciting new categories like traditional bakery products, herbal teas with saffron, baking kits with olive oil and chocolate, fleur de sel, feta cheese, and uh, the other traditional Greek cheeses, fig snacks, and an exciting line of Santorini breakfast products, just to name a few of the product categories we are going in. As you can imagine, this concept provide us, provides everybody with a win-win situation. It gives logistics of big distribution to all these Greek companies that on their own, they couldn't achieve that. And of course, big economies of scale uh, for Gaia, for ourselves. It uh, splits the sales costs because they don't, nobody has to create its own sales team. The Gaia sales team that is already present and selling internationally will be doing the sales for these teams. But the biggest benefit comes on the marketing side. All this Greek basket of products that is being created now helps our marketing strategy, helps promote the Greek meze and the Greek eating culture, gives us a big range where somebody who has spent a summer in Greece and enjoyed very much his vacation there, can recreate it with the products that we will be offering to them. Our basis is our people, our values, and innovation. When we ask, uh, when we talk in, internally in the company and they ask me, what are you selling? Uh, I'm saying we are not selling products. We are not selling olive oil, olives, spreads, dips, sauces, all these. Uh, authentic traditional products that we produce in our own facilities. We are selling values and those values are being reflected in our products, in our relationships with our clients, in our relationship with suppliers, in our relationships with our team. All our tactics flow from these values and these values are total quality to sell the absolute best products of Greek Mother Earth. We sell only 100% natural products without any additives, without any preservatives, uh, that consistently excel in all major international competitions for taste and quality. Our olive oils are the most awarded olive oils in the world for quality and taste. Healthy and tasty leading to cons consumer wellness. Wellness is a major trend for the international consumer. He wants to feel good, he wants to enjoy life. To be able to enjoy life you must have a good health and the good health is a result of a good nutrition. Uh, good food is the best medicine that you can take. So if you are healthy and you're also having tasty food, which is a parameter of enjoying life, then this leads you to wellness. Stable, exclusive relationships with the absolute market leaders in every market that we distribute our and sell our products. Our business is specialty food distribution. We only team up with the absolute best companies in every market that we want to work with, and we work with them long, for a long time, and together we build the markets. Fair reward to our suppliers through stable relationships and better prices. Uh, Greek olive oil is uh, following the commodity prices as it's happening all around the world. It is in very, uh, very low prices. A lot of the Greek farmers are suffering because of the size of the farms. They are below break-even point. We did the first joint venture with a cooperative that won the first prize uh, by the International Olive Oil Council as best olive oil in the world. We are putting in the international market their product on a joint venture basis. We give back 50% of the added value that is being created because of the exceptional quality of this product. And by doing so, these farmers have a very strong incentive and a 30% higher price than any other Greek producer to stay on the field and continue producing this outstanding quality. Assisting the development of the Gaia team. We are a small company but we do invest a lot in our people education. And when I'm saying education, I'm not talking just seminars. I'm saying rec recently we financed the MBA of our production director today. A young guy from our sales team is in a US university doing an MBA in new media. We, we work a lot with our people and of course our people are feeling very well at this moment uh, of economic crisis in Greece where everybody is seeing salaries being reduced, that they work in an environment that is safe we are the only uh, Greek small and medium enterprise in Greece that has been certified for ethical working practices. The salaries have been stable in our company. Nobody has lost uh, a cent. And of course, innovating and leading the way. 
we shape the needs of consumer, introducing new, authentically Greek experiences without compromising our values to commercial success. And we do innovate in all aspects of our activities. It may sound an oxymoron, a company that is selling traditional products. Olive oil is a 4,500-year-old product. Can you innovate? You can innovate. You can innovate in marketing. We introduce the Meze concept, the sociable food, the way of sharing. You can innovate in the dried olives or in the olives that we do in the snack pack, the first snack pack in the world, which means olives without any liquid, without any preservatives. This was a huge innovation, two and a half years of research to do it without preservatives. Or you can retro-innovate. We discovered an ancient Greek recipe that was referred in the books of the ancient Greeks, uh, which is barrel-aged vinegar with thyme honey, the condiment of the ancient Greeks, the balsamic vinegar of the ancient Greeks. You, we innovated in partnership by joining forces with the Kritsa Cooperative and passing back to them part of the added value. And you can innovate in sustainability. We have the first carbon neutral olive oil in the world. Now, companies are an important part of modern society. This is uh, what we strongly believe in Yeah, They interact with society, evolve within the society, and prosper from their activities. In that context, they have an obligation to give back to society part of what they earn beyond statutory obligations, taxes, and social security. I believe very strongly that in the future, the companies that will be really successful, even in the financial markets, companies that will have very strong financial performance, will be those that will be scoring very high on the social performance. And when I say social performance, I don't mean these uh, publications where you have a checklist and you do a brochure with everything that you do, but real social activities that come from the heart of the company that the company believes in. Uh, we care for the environment as a company. We were the first to do a carbon neutral olive oil. We estimated the carbon footprint, which means we estimated carbon dioxide emissions from the field where the olives grow till the moment the product, our product reaches the shelves of international supermarkets. We have estimated everything. It is a great process because it creates awareness. You learn how you pollute. And when you learn how to pollute, you learn how to reduce that. It, we heard the fantastic example about, uh, from Pirelli reducing 30% uh, the water usage. When you know how you pollute, you are able to reduce. For the amount that we don't pollute and we still emit some carbon dioxide, although olive oil is the cleanest agricultural product, uh, <clears throat> we pay to a Swiss organization, My Climate, and part of these fees get reinvested in, uh, in renewable energies in other parts of the world. So uh, we went ahead and did the same thing with our olives, the first carbon neutral olives in the world. All these were the first carbon neutral products in the Greek uh, market. And recently, we were the first olive oil in the world to estimate its water footprint. So we uh, exactly found out how much water we use from rain, from underground sources, and from irrigation. Again, a great exercise in awareness on how to reduce uh, water usage. Caring for culture. Our newest uh, olive oil, our newest uh, baby in the olive oil world, is a great olive oil from Lesvos, from the Vranas Olive Press Museum, which is a highly historic uh, uh, place for Greece because the grandfather of Odyssea Elitis, the Nobel Prize literature, poetry, 1979, used to be the owner of this steam press in the, Aegean, the biggest of the previous century in the Aegean Sea, with uh, machinery built in the Isigonis factory in Izmir. The grandson of Isigonis left Izmir after the First World War, went to England, and is the designer of the Mini Cooper. Part of the proceeds of this olive oil go to support the museum, which is a monument that symbolizes the return to ancient wisdom and proven healthy values of the traditional Greek diet. So every, everything, every bottle that we sell is supporting this museum to stay alive. Caring for society. Part of our sales in the US goes to Chef for Humanity, a nonprofit organization that has been created by our chef partner, Greek American Kat, Amer Kat Cora in the US, and uh, fighting and providing emergency hunger relief after the big catastrophes, tsunamis, uh, earthquakes. The first days, chefs go there and prepare anything between three and 5,000 hot meals for people that lost their homes because of the, of the catastrophe. So 
part of our US sales is supporting CEFs for Humanity. And recently, uh, we just started a new initiative. We will do a web tender through cooking.com in the US using the olive oil of a tiny Greek island, Antiparos. Very, very small, right? it's like a dot on the map. Uh, we will sell 15,000 tons, which, uh, 15,000 bottles, which is just the entire production of the island. Uh, through Catcora and some filler lens in the US, we estimate that we will be raising minimum 1 million euros and we will be using this to fund graduates, school graduates that want to go back from Athens and the big cities to their place of origin and start a new pioneering agricultural project ensuring that we take also afterwards the product that they will be producing. Thank you very much. vision is to promote internationally our Greek cultural culinary heritage and measure the way we eat, the way we share things. So the possibility to offer exceptional quality products that fit very well within that concept is very much within our vision and, and uh, strategy. Uh, originally we thought that we would be doing that only by just uh, you know, working together with other Greek companies on the marketing front. Unfortunately, Greek companies were not that export oriented. We weren't able to find other companies there, so we are taking them. We are taking them with us. Italy is a fine example of how you can build internationally products and your cuisine and you promote the country. Italy has done a fantastic job. The truth is that uh, your question is spot on because uh, the growth of Italian restaurants has helped very much the sales of Italian food products internationally. There is a case study at the International Olive Oil Council about Japan. Uh, the uh, consumption in Japan increased uh, for olive oil, it increased by uh, 100 times in a very short period of time. At the same period of time, only in Tokyo, 3,000 Italian restaurants were being created. So there is a definite correlation by obvious. Unfortunately, this is not something that we can benefit from. Unfortunately, there isn't a big, in big scale, a Greek cuisine internationally. There aren't many good Greek restaurants internationally. In fact, in some countries, Greek restaurants have done a poor job for Greek food products. For example, the German market has experienced uh, with bad Greek restaurants or the US market with the diners has experienced the bad side. So if I say, if, if anything, it has been an obstacle for us and unfortunately we don't have that, but as a model, this is the correct model. The Italians have done that brilliantly and they are a, a, a model to follow. said that we are extremely innovative as a company, but on that we haven't been very innovative. I think what we did when we started the business is to follow and see what the best brands, the best European brands were doing internationally. And we saw that uh, all these great brands that we see in our countries and all around the world have followed the exact same model. They were aiming for very good companies that were specialized in specialty food distribution, partnering with them in the long term and building their business. So uh, since uh, there wasn't another Greek brand uh, internationally, we said uh, this is our opportunity. We will aim to go with the absolute best company in each single market. Um, and we have done that and we have done that even in cases where it was a little bit frustrating. For example, uh, Germany, which is our most successful market internationally, and we are partners there with a super company. It's probably one of the best specialty food distributors in the world, if not the best. For two and a half years, I was calling them every six months and they were telling me we're not interested for Greek products and they were closing the phone. During these two and a half years, because Germany is a big market for Greek products, we had calls, several calls from people saying, we want to distribute your products in the German market. We never sold a case. We were waiting for two and a half years. Suddenly, the summer of 99, the phone rang. It was films from Germany. They said, we decided to do Greek olive oil in the German market. Today we are brand number three in olive oil in the German market behind a big Italian and a big Spanish brand and it is our biggest success story and the highest position that any Greek olive oil has ever had in the international market. So no innovation, very clear focus and we knew very well what we wanted on that front. Yeah.